All right, in this video, we're going to look at unit conversion with two prefixes. For example, let's say we want to convert 128 centimeters into millimeters. If we look at what we need to do this problem, we notice that there are centimeters, the centi prefix, and millimeters, the milli prefix, both in this problem. We're going to set it up exactly like we looked at the unit conversion with only one prefix. We're going to say this means how many millimeters equals 128 centimeters. But the difference is now I've got two different prefixes. If you'll recall, when we looked at our prefix table, everything was compared to the base unit. So let's think for a minute about what our prefixes are and how they compare to the base unit. Um, as you look at a prefix table, you'll see that the, let's take the centi first. The centi is 10 to the minus 2 for its multiplier in the table, and that means there are 10 to the minus 2 meters that equal 1 centimeter. So these are our equivalences from that prefix table. This is our scratch work. If we look at the milli in the prefix table, it's 10 to the minus 3, and that means there are 10 to the minus 3 millimeters in one millimeter. Remember that when we use the prefix table, the multiplier goes with the base unit, the one goes with the prefix every time. You also may recall that when I'm punching this number into my calculator, I have to be very careful to punch it in correctly, and it might be more useful to think of it as one times 10 to the minus two, so that I can punch in the one EE or EXP on my scientific uh, calculator negative 2. Same thing with the 10 to the minus 3. 1 EE negative 3 for that calculator punching in. Alright, so let's go back to our problem. Remember that in any unit prefix after we get the question mark unit equals the number unit set up, we put our times in our ratio sign. I want the unit of centimeters to cancel so it goes first. Units, units, units. Always put your units first. So centimeters goes down here I'd like to put the millimeters on top, but I can only put the millimeters on top if I know what makes them equal. And I don't. What makes it equal to centimeters is between centimeters and meters. So I have to put the meters on top. Notice I'm putting all of my units first. My centimeters units will cancel. I'll be left with meters. And here are the numbers that go into the problem. The 1 goes with the centimeter. The 10 to the minus 2 goes with the meters. Again, be careful punching this into your calculator. It's actually 1 EE negative 2. My units of centimeters cancels, and I have left meters, but that's not what I want. I want millimeters, so I need one more step. The unit of meters has to go on bottom so that it cancels. Has to, has to, has to. Units first. Units, units, units. And then now I can put the millimeters on top because I know what makes them equal meters and millimeters, that equivalence is down here. The 1 goes with the millimeter, the 10 to the minus 3 goes with the meters, and I'm ready to punch this into my calculator. When I punch it in, I'll punch in 128 times, and then I'll punch in the 10 to the minus 2 next, and I'll punch that in as 1 EE negative 2, I can hit divided by 1 at this point if I want to, but I don't have to because anything divided by 1 is the same. I can hit times 1 if I want to. Anything on top gets multiplied, but again, I don't have to punch in the times 1. I'm going to hit the divided by sign on my calculator before I punch in my 10 to the minus 3 because it's in the denominator. And again, I might want to punch that in as 1 EE negative 3. And when I hit my equal sign, I'll see that my answer is 1280 millimeters.